Hey guys, today I'm talking about a great science fiction show and it's a great overall TV show as well. Some people consider it one of the greatest TV shows that has come on in the 20th century. Roll the intro. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick, and this is the show where we talk about movies, TV shows, and music. Today, we're talking about a TV show. I want to talk to you guys about Battlestar Galactica. This is the 2003 reimagining, and they took everything to another level. Let's take a look. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We are talking about Battlestar Galactica. It's the American military science fiction TV series, and it's part of the Battlestar Galactica franchise. Now this show was developed by Ronald D. Moore and executive produced by Moore and David Icke. This is a reimagining of the 1978 Battlestar Galactica TV series by Glenn A. Larson. Now if you guys wanna see a show on the 78 series, leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll make that happen for you. Now, although this series came out in 2004, the pilot for the series first aired as a three-hour miniseries comprising four broadcast hours in two parts on December of 2003 on the Sci-Fi Channel, which was then followed by four regular seasons, ending its run in March of 2009. As for the cast, Edward James Olmos is Commander William Adama, Mary McDonnell as President Laura Roslin, Katie Sackhoff as Lieutenant Kara Starbuck Thrace. Jamie Bamber is Captain Lee Apollo Adama, elder son of William Adama and renowned Viper pilot. James Callis is Dr. Gaius Baltar, a brilliant scientist and later president. Trisha Helfer is number six, a humanoid Cylon. Grace Park is number eight, a humanoid Cylon, also Sharon Boomer Valeri, the Raptor pilot of the Galactica. Michael Hogan is Colonel Saul Tai, the executive officer of the Galactica. There's a reason why Battlestar Galactica was a great TV series. Time described Battlestar Galactica as a gripping sci-fi allegory of the war on terror, complete with monotheistic religious fundamentalists. Now in this show, the genocidal cyborgs called Cylons sleeper cells, civil liberties, crackdowns, and even prisoner torture scandal. This show attempted to maintain its realism by referencing familiar elements of contemporary history. The opening theme is a New Age inflected version of Gayatriya Mantra, a Hindu hymn dedicated to the solar deity Savitir. Bear McCreary was the primary composer for the television series having assisted Richard Gibbs on the three-hour miniseries. When the show was picked up, Gibbs opted to not devote full time to the regular series production and McCreary became the composer, scoring over 70 episodes. The music of Battlestar Galactica displays a wide variety of ethnic influences and intentionally tries to avoid the quote-unquote usual style following the success of the first season, which was 13 episodes, the Sci-Fi Channel ordered a 20 episode second season in 2005. The season premiered in the United States on the Sci-Fi Channel in July of 2005. Now in the fall of 2005, airing of the second season was halted as a part of the Sci-Fi Channel's standard airing schedule, normally used for its Stargate series, which caused the season to be split into two parts a winter season and a summer season. This was to avoid heavy competition with major networks that follow the spring-fall schedule. The second half of the season, aka 2.5, aired in January of 2006 after a three-month hiatus. The Sci-Fi Channel then ordered a 20-episode third season in November of 2005. Production began in April of 2006 in British Columbia. It had been renewed for a fourth season of 22 episodes in May of 2007. Preceding this was the airing of the Razor TV movie, comprising of two of the ordered broadcast hours, while the remaining season of 20 episodes was split into two halves due to the 2007-2008 Writers Guild of America strike. 
The first half comprised of episodes 3 through 10, while the second half was comprised of episodes 11 through 22. This series had its final airing on March 20th of 2009. Now in home media, the series was released in March of 2004 on DVD and included deleted scenes, audio commentary, behind the scenes documentaries. The first season was released on DVD in March of 2005. The second season was released in its entirety in a single volume in regions two and four, but issued in two separate volumes, AKA season 2.0 and season 2.5 here in the United States in region one. This corresponded with the mid-season break in the broadcast schedule, also containing deleted scenes, uh, podcasts, and extras. Season 2.5 also contains an extended version of the episode Pegasus, the last episode of the first half of the season. The third season was released in the United States in March of 2008, also containing extras, now the fourth and final season, just like season two, was released in two parts in the United States. Uh, it also included the movie Razor as part of the season four package, despite it being released separately at an earlier date. And both the extended and shortened versions of Razor are included in the season 4.0 box set. So full disclosure, I, I have the DVDs because I had them when they came out. And that was before that huge popularity of Blu-ray. Knowing what I know now and how much I love this series, I probably definitely, not probably, but definitely would have got it on Blu-ray. But you also know how I am about double dipping. I hate to do that. I've done it for a few things like Star Wars but uh, for most anything else, I usually shy away from double dipping. It's gotta be something pretty glorious for me to uh, go back and pick this stuff back up even though I've already got it. Okay, now scoring Battlestar Galactica. For picture, I would give it a three. That's very good for a DVD. Again, I don't have the Blu-ray. If I did, I'm pretty sure I would score that even higher. Same with sound. Sound, I'm gonna give it a 3.25. The DVD does carry a good soundtrack. Packaging and content is also a 3.25. Lots of extras and bonus features. You can't go wrong there. Now, overall, that would make it a 3.16 and a 316 score for a DVD package is very, very good. You definitely want to look into this TV series. Even if you don't buy it and you just stream a few episodes, it's one of those ones that is made for binge watching, just like a lot of the other TV shows that I've got in the collection. And it is a very gripping series. The only lull I would say in the series came early in season three but it then picked back up close to the midway point and it never lets you down i can see why a lot of people consider this one of the best tv shows ever let alone science fiction shows battlestar galactica is definitely one of the best shows out there okay guys that's battlestar galactica make sure that you watch this show all four seasons are wonderful it's been a pleasure bringing this to you guys. Uh, I'm going to delve a lot deeper into science fiction because everybody knows I'm a big Star Wars fan and uh, I can't wait to get some more content out to you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you comment. Let me know what you want to see or hear in the future. I got plenty of good stuff coming for you. Thanks a lot. Stay positive. Stay blessed.